Hello you all. Uh, welcome back to another vlog um, for this week. So my battery's gonna die, so that's awesome. It just happens every vlog. All right, battery's changed, nice fresh one. Um, and yeah, welcome back to the vlog. So I've got a bit on, I've got a bit on the next couple of weeks. Uh, so I'll start off with maybe showing the panda so far, the red panda. Uh, so I did, uh, I think you might have seen this in the last vlog anyway, but I did a bit of work on the lower jaw for the panda doll. So it's going to have a movable jaw and probably movable ears. Um, so I did those movable ears with the tigers as well. So, um, and, and red pandas seem to have like big ears. So I think they should be movable. <clears throat> so I think today what I'm going to do is do a bit of work on the the top of the jaw. So we've got it still needs a lot of carving out and stuff, but this is so far what I've got. And you can open and close like so. Um so what I'm going to do is um I've carved out like a little shelf, I guess, for the panda jaw uh, I still need to carve out a bit here I think I don't think it's flat enough um, but I yeah I just got to refer back to my reference images and make sure um, it's proportionate so I don't think the doll is gonna be too big I think it's gonna be a nice cute size roughly small cat size maybe like this size <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll try and do a little bit of work on that today um, and tomorrow or this week, whatever. And yeah, just see how much I can get done with that. Um, next, we have the unicorn. So, what are those cats doing? Next, we have the unicorn. So, I did a little bit of work on like the head last week and I don't know if it's gonna film kids. So I added the horn. I made it I wanted it to be a big horn. So I added the horn um with epoxy sculpt and um yeah just did some prep with the armature so now everything's ready to be painted which is exciting so I'll probably just do the prep work for the painting so I usually um, I usually prime anything that I'm going to paint so I'll prime the horn and I'll prime um, obviously the bits that I'm going to paint uh, with some it's just a canvas primer uh, but I, I find it works really well it's a gesso so I find it works really well for um, priming resin and polymer clay pieces because it's just like a, a water based paint um, and it sits on there nicely and it just creates like a little tooth so I using, I'm using um, this one, uh, it's, just a, it's just a gesso, um, and it's, yes, what was I saying? <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's a nice consistency as well, so it goes on nice and nice and smooth, not too thick. Um, but you can always water it down if you're finding it too thick. Uh, next we have a, I've got two commissions on the go at the moment. So um, one is a cat. So I'm going to do a little bit of experimenting with some glass eyes and I just noticed that one is a bit different. Um, so I'll have to get, the depth is a bit different on these ones, so I have to get a different pair. Um, I'm just going to do a little experiment with uh, just some eyes, um, trying to get the colour correct of the cat's eyes because it's somebody's pet. So I'll do a little work on that today. So I think what I'm going to do is a combination of these two paints. So it's Sunset Gold and Halo Blue Gold. Um, I've done eyes in this colour before mixed together. So it creates like a nice, um, like a really light green. So I'll mix up some, some of these two colours. I just added a tad of green to this one. Um, and yeah, I'll just play around with the eyes. 
and I may need to add some of this um, super sparkle which is just like a white like a white despite what the bottle shows the bottles yellowed but it's white <laughs> um, and same with this one this is actually white but the bottles like super yellow so it looks gold but it's white um, and then the next one is I got a commission for a tiger this morning uh, so they want um, a tiger that is similar to the one that I just did, the orange one. So, um, yes, they take a bit of time to make the tigers just because they've got a lot um, on them. Uh, it's not, it doesn't have the movable jaw, but it does have like the movable ears, so there's a lot... Um, involved in sculpting all the pieces for that because it's, it's it's a larger doll as well so uh yeah so that's what we're gonna do this week so I've got a bit going on I do want to get um the unicorn done as much as possible because I want to do that um decadent release but I do want to do it with the actual unicorn doll so um yeah also how we go hopefully um, I can get it done fairly quickly because all I really need to do is paint it and put it together. Don't have to sculpt anything. Everything's done. Anyway, so yeah, quite a big list at the moment and um, let's see how much I can get done. here I did a bit of work um, on a couple of dolls over the last fortnight so I got a fair bit done I released some pictures and a video of how I made the chimp doll um, so you can check that out um, and yeah so I've actually posted it on Instagram I haven't posted it on Instagram for a long time because it's crap and doesn't feed posts out to anyone so it's like kind of what's the point of posting on Instagram, I guess. Um, but I can give you a little update on, on all of the dolls. There's currently three that I'm working on. I have to start a fourth one, which is a, another tiger commission. So it's another orange tiger. So um, yeah, it's kind of the same color, or just the same color, same eyes that the customer wanted. So it'll be interesting to see how that face turns out. Um, hopefully it looks like a different tiger like a different structure it will because I have to sculpt it out of Sculpey anyway so um all right so the first one I spent a bit of time I still have to do like a kind of a final bake on this one um because I added some coloring to the roof but this one is going to be this is the one that was voted the red panda that was voted um 
uh, on my Patreon and Instagram votes to uh, be the next doll to make. So, um, yeah, I usually put a bit more time and effort into creating those dolls. So I add a bit more detailing like movable jaws, movable ears, um, just uh just things that make it a little bit more realistic it just takes a bit longer but um i think the payoff is great because you get a doll that looks a bit more realistic than other dolls than my resin ones hence the price differences so basically what i'm doing i'll show you where it's not completely finished yet but because i haven't put the jaw structure together but we've got this so far um so it's kind of hard to tell exactly without the ears and everything put together but it will um, start to take shape once all of the fur goes on and once it gets some ears but basically it's going to have the movable jaw so I've made baby red pandas before um, and I didn't actually intend to do a movable jaw on this one but I when I was looking at like the reference images and stuff they had red pandas with their jaws open and I thought it was really cute so I thought you know what I'll do the jaw open so basically um, so I have a tutorial on how I do these jaws in my shop um, if you want to know the uh, the model that I'm doing it from is the shoe bill but it's the same concept it's obviously going to be different for every type of animal that you make but it's the same concept um, as the shoe bill so this is the inside of the mouth what it looks like <coughs> I use super sculpey to do all of the beige colored stuff um, and I'm going to be adding a little bit more red like a red wash over it because um, the tongues are more pinky color than this beige color but I wanted that translucency in the super sculpey so that's what I did and then the inside of the mouth is what's not baked yet and um, yeah so I'm just doing some detailing with the you're not gonna see this anyway so <laughs> I did not know why I put that much details detailing in it because you're really only gonna see like that tiny amount so it's just like a tiny bit of extra detail that didn't take too long so yeah so I'm gonna do that a uh, as a final bake I still have to do the hands and feet though um, but yeah so that's what it's gonna look like and then once um, all of the faux fur comes on basically what I do is cut like a, a longer piece so so it sits over the jaw and sort of brings it like seals it off and brings it um, to look more like a finished piece um, so yeah so that's gonna look good it's also gonna have movable e movable ears so I'm gonna do the same sort of process as what I did with the tiger dolls so they both had movable ears obviously the red pandas have bigger ears so um, yeah same sort of deal um, I just have to find the points at where the ears will go and then yeah so it'll start coming together and I'll start looking like a red panda at the moment it just looks like a form like a like a form <laughs> um, but yeah it was just obviously important to get the parts that are going to show correct and that just the, the overall overall structure added a little bit of fur just to see what it looks like um, and refine it a bit more uh, you don't have to do that but um, a lot of people say it's a waste of time because if you're going to add faux fur then um, it gets covered anyway but I find adding just a little bit of textured detail especially with the shorter furs um, really helps for me anyway so um, yeah so that is the red panda update hopefully I don't think the feet will take too long because they're not that complicated they're not as complicated as um, like the chimp hands and stuff and I don't need to use cost clay so I can I can continue to use the Sculpey original um, and yeah I shouldn't they should be pretty quick to to make anyway uh, the next one is the unicorn so this is the resin doll that I'm doing with the Decadent collection um, 
which I don't think you can quite see. Uh, I showed it before, the behind me. Um, I'm doing some unicorn horns. Um, and I did like a little chocolate one as well, which I'm thinking of doing different colour horn. Um, and yeah, I'm going to release that as a little collection, like a mini collection. Um, so all, I did some tests with like some mini cupcakes that I might add to the to the series as well. Um, they're just like little decorative pieces that you put in your house. Um, but everything I put on top is like handmade and not everything, but most things, even though you can't see. Like the large lolly pieces, like these ones, they're all handmade. So I spent a bit of time hand making those types of things. Um, and yeah, I really enjoy doing these decadent type things. Um, but yeah, so I've been working on the unicorn for it, the art doll unicorn. So it is a resin unicorn, it is a resin art doll. Um, it's going to be a small one, so this is a little head. It's not, I still need to put some gloss over the eyes, but basically, uh, I decided to go with gold horns and gold feet. Um, you're not going to see much of the feet anyway, or the hooves anyway. Um, so there'll be little little bits of gold. Uh, I went for blue eyes. Um, I kept tossing up what colour eyes to do, and then I thought like a pastel blue would look nice uh, with the overall colour scheme. So it's going to have pink skin um, and like little pink skin around the eyes. And I'm going to do it uh, white, and the mane is going to be like pastel pastel rainbow colours. Um, so I have alpaca fiber that I'll probably use for that um, and I just have to like find a nice pastel color I guess oh, I got the hiccups pastel color for the um, the mane and also the tail so I'm going to again it's, it's got a, a, a plastic ball and socket armature inside so nice and sturdy um, and then um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do needle felting for the body and then put the skin over it so the same as what I do for all my other dolls and that um, yeah I think that that refines the body a little bit more to how I want it because uh, I want it to kind of horse like even though when I sculpted this I wanted it across between like a horse and a donkey more of a donkey face um, because I wanted it a bit cuter, I guess, but I based it off more donkey um, than a horse. So I'm gonna, with like elements of goat or something in there, but yeah. So it's gonna be a smaller doll, so it's only probably like this big, and because it's resin, it's gonna be cheaper than my polymer clay ones. Um, and that'll be like the final piece in that decadent little series but I do have some more decadent stuff up at the moment so I have some dra from the dragon collection so if you're interested in more decadent stuff um, there's a couple of pieces still left uh, for the dragon bits there's only one dragon head left though um, mm. and yeah so last thing uh, I'll be working on uh, one of the first commission so I've got two commissions on at the moment one's a cat so it's somebody's pet and um, the other one is a tiger, which I haven't started because I'm going to concentrate on the cat one first because they got in first. Um, so yeah, they sent me a couple of images of their cat um, and just trying to spend a bit of time last week, most of the time last week, just sculpting um, the head for it. Obviously when it's someone's pet, it needs to look like the pet. Um, so so yeah, I basically did like a basic cat head and then just going back and looking at all the reference photos to make sure I've got like the curves and stuff right. So it's, it's still not finished yet, um, but it's, it's getting there. It's almost finished. I just need to add a bit more refining um, and detailing. Um, but yeah, so this is what we've got so far. <laughs> Don't drop it. Um, so yeah, I just need to fix up some proportions a little bit and just the way things sit um, has 
um, like uh, those little fluffy things around the head. So I wanted to get that. Um, but I'll have to refine it a little bit more here. Just the areas where the bone structures are. So this one's a little bit more refined. Um, the ears I just need to fix up a little bit. Uh, just make them a bit more symmetrical. Um, and yeah, just fix up the eyes a little bit. Just refine things a little bit. So I'm, I'm quite happy with the way the head is looking. I think it looks really good. It looks like the cat. Um, obviously it'll look more like the cat once all the fur goes on. Um, so it's, it's a black, like a tuxedo color. So it's a black cat and it's got like little white markings on the face and like a little little white markings down here. Um, so yeah, just a little bit more refining to do just on the, like the ears, just to straighten things up a little bit. But yeah, it's, um, it's funny like you look at all different types of reference images of cats and there's like so many subtle little differences that make cats just look like a different type of, like a different breed. Uh, um, you know, I've got two cats too, so I look at them for reference images, but I've got Burmese cats and they don't look like um, just short hair cats. Um, so their structure here is a little bit different, their nose structure, just the structure here is different. So the, my, my cats have more of a brow, I guess, and the customer's cat's got more of a smooth transition up here. Um, so yeah, just a little bit more work to do, I think. Um, but I've got bulk of that done, which is really good. And then I can, um, I'll add a little bit of fur. Um, and like the eyes are kind of follow me eyes a little bit, which is cool. I opted for the thinner ones as well, instead of large eyes. Um, so yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I'll, I'll have to also... Um, sculpt the the paws which also shouldn't take too long um, the paws have like a pink and black on them so I'll have to get the paw pads right um, for the customer to make sure the colouring is correct the markings on the paw pads on the toe range are correct mm. and yeah so I reckon 15 minutes ramble is long enough, but there's a lot of things happening. Um, those two dolls, the Red Panda and uh, the Decadent Unicorn sets, they will go in my Patreon up on my Patreon first, so patrons will get first dibs on them, and then they'll go up in the next uh, couple of days after that, most likely on a Friday um, when I finish them, and payment plans are also welcome as well. But uh, yeah, so I'll leave it there. Check out my shop for more dolls looking for homes. I do have payment plans, like I said. Um, and just just shoot me a message. I'm really flexible with them, so um, yeah, I try and try and um, yeah, just try and be really flexible with things like that um, because it's not always easy. But yeah, so that's about it. Uh, I'll probably. Do another video at the end of the week I'm not sure what it's gonna be though but yeah gonna concentrate on probably these three dolls at the moment um, in between things and yeah so check me out at my shop creaturesnet.com find me on Instagram TikTok and Facebook as well not so much on Instagram anymore because it's crap um, yeah at creatures of Nat and uh, yeah patreons thank you so much patrons thank you so much for supporting me um, I should have more things up very soon. I haven't had too much time lately, um, so just bear with me. Um, and yeah, check me out over there if you want a little bit extra. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>